Today's video is brought to us by Woodsum Magnetic Knife Holders. More on them later in the video. I'm sharing three impressive dinner recipes that are so easy to make, but don't tell anybody. Hello everyone, Jennifer L. Scott here and welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. I have another what's for dinner video for you today, but this one has a twist. All of these recipes are very impressive. They're gourmet, they taste fantastic, they look impressive, but they're so easy to make. Let's start off with my famous slow cooker pot roast. I've been making this dish for over 15 years. It never gets old. <laughs> it's really good. So you're going to start off with around a three pound chuck roast. Season it with salt and pepper and then rub some extra virgin olive oil into the meat. Then you're going to sprinkle flour on each side of the roast and rub it in. In a skillet on high heat, and I'm using the 360 cookware skillet here, sear the roast on both sides about two minutes per side. Meanwhile, you're going to spray your slow cooker with cooking spray and add your vegetables. So you can mix this up, use what you have. I'm showing you everything here. Um, we're going to be using carrots, celery, mushrooms, potatoes, and onions, but if you only have onions and celery or onions and carrots or just potatoes, that's totally fine. This works well with anything. So spray your slow cooker with cooking spray and add in the chopped onion and wedges. Then here I'm adding about four medium-sized potatoes peeled and chopped into chunks. I also have carrots, celery, and mushrooms, and I leave these in rather large chunks. You don't want to chop them too small, otherwise they're going to turn into mush as you cook this. Once the roast is seared on both sides, place it on top of the vegetables in the slow cooker. Then you're going to keep the pan on medium heat and add about one cup of broth to the pan along with one packet of onion soup mix. That's my secret ingredient. Then you're going to scrape up the brown bits from the skillet as you create this incredible sauce with all the juices from the roast and then pour it on top of the roast. That's it, it's so easy. Put the lid on your slow cooker and cook it on low for eight hours or on high for four hours. This meal is impressive because it tastes so good. The flavors from the roast just infuse the vegetables and everything is delicious. When you plate it up, slice the steak and then pour some au jus on top of everything. Serve it up with a side salad and a piece of crusty bread with butter and you're totally going to impress your family or any dinner guests that you may happen to have. Before we move to the next recipe, I'd like to thank Woodsum for bringing us today's video. Woodsum is a small business full of artisanal craftsmen who create these gorgeous wooden magnetic knife holders. Everything is made in Minnesota in the USA. So they have 12 wood species to match virtually any kitchen decor and it allows you to keep your cutlery handy. We chose the walnut shade for our kitchen. It was very easy to install. Ben installed it and I finished it off with the little screw covers. You can mount the knife holder on the wall or they even have ones that you can mount on the side of your fridge. I love the oiling wax, which makes the wood gleam. The magnets are super strong, keeping your knives secure. This would make a great holiday gift for any foodies that you know, people who love to cook. It's really unique and the magnetic knife holders are very affordable. So check out woodsome.com and the discount code, which I'll have in the description box below for 15% off. Thank you to Woodsome for sponsoring today's What's For Dinner video. All right, the next impressive dish that is so easy to make is brie pasta. You're going to make the sauce about two hours before you plan to serve it because it's like a marinade. So you're going to need uh, four large tomatoes cut into cubes. I ended up using about seven smaller Roma tomatoes for this recipe. About a pound of brie cheese. You're going to want to remove the rind and um, tear the brie into small chunks. You're gonna need three garlic cloves peeled and finely chopped, one cup of olive oil, salt and pepper to taste, and then we're going to be using bow tie pasta here and some basil. So combine the tomatoes, the brie, the garlic and the olive oil, salt and pepper in a large bowl. You're going to mix it all together, cover it and allow it to sit at room temperature for at least two hours. Think of this as a nice bruschetta topping or um, just a delicious marinade. Then two hours later, you're going to cook your pasta on the stove according to the package directions. And I'm using bow tie pasta here. Then you're going to drain the pasta, then immediately toss the pasta with that delicious tomato brie sauce and then you're going to add the basil. So I cannot keep basil alive in my garden to save my life. 
Ben got me one of those arrow garden things from Amazon. And so I've been growing basil like nobody's business. So I have two kinds of basil, Thai and Italian, and I'm just using both here. <laughs> so you're going to take about a cup of basil, tear the leaves up and add it in with the pasta and taste it. See if it needs any more salt and pepper, but mix it all together and serve this right away. This is so delicious. I wasn't sure if my children would like it because Brie is, you know, a very sophisticated cheese for children and um, I wasn't sure if they would like it but they loved it they ate absolutely everything so I find this to be a very elegant dish but it is so easy to make so the third and final recipe I have for you today is a passion fruit mousse my sister grows passion fruits in her garden and so she has given us the most gigantic bowl of passion fruits and I'm thinking what can I do with this bowl of fruit <laughs> So I searched the internet for a passion fruit recipe and I found this delicious Brazilian passion fruit pudding that seems to be very easy to make. Now I realize that most of you are not going to have access to passion fruit and so you can substitute mangoes for this or any type of fruit that you like. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. You're going to take two cans of sweetened condensed milk and put that in your stand mixer along with some passion fruit juice. You can find passion fruit juice in the international aisle of most grocery stores. If you can't find it, you can use mango juice, guava juice, peach juice, uh, or I think they call it nectar. Any of those would work fine here. Then you're gonna add some heavy cream and I'll have the measurements for you down below. When you do this, you're not going to get a thick traditional mousse. You're going to get more of a whipped cream texture, but you could always add gelatin to this if you want it um, set really nicely. Now, I've been experimenting with this recipe and there are two ways that it works for me. So once you get to this whipped cream texture, you can cover the individual dessert ramekins and refrigerate them overnight and that works well. Or even better, we decided to freeze some of these and they were so delicious. If you freeze it, you really need to serve them right away when you take them out of the freezer. So how I like to serve them is by putting some passion fruit on top and a sprig of mint leaves. So there's two ways you can enjoy this dish. My daughters told me this was one of the most delicious desserts they've ever had, and they had the frozen version. They preferred that one the best. So there you go, two ways to make this dish. Now, like I said, you don't need the passion fruit if you don't have access to it. You could substitute a lot of different things to make this work, but it's incredibly delicious. And I will leave the original recipe where I found this down below as well. I hope you enjoyed these seriously impressive gourmet recipes that are actually very easy to make. Now, the key is to not tell people that they were easy to make. Just pretend like they were complicated and that you're really talented, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's video and thank you to Woodsome for bringing it to us. Don't forget to check them out at woodsome.com. Check out my discount code down below for 15% off. Thank you so much for joining me here on The Daily Connoisseur. Keep calm and remain classy and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.